Hello friends, this is Lokan Singh Rajput and this is Yashant Beragi. In last part, we had done the potentiometric titration of iodide, bromide and chloride in the presence of silver nitrate. Where we obtained different pick for potentiometric titration of bromide, iodide and chloride. Now we will explain the calculation of the picks of iodide, bromide and chloride. So first create a table on excel sheet. So simply open the excel and here all the readings come during the experiment are type here. So I am already done it. So I am just paste my data. This is. So this is first one is serial number. This is volume of 0.01 N of AgNO3 and then EMF then del E del V del E upon del V. So now let's plot the graph for this reading. So simply select all this reading and go to insert and then click on line chart. So I am click on it and uh, we have two option 2d line and 3d line if you want in 2d then click any of that and if you want in 3d then click here so i am just click on that okay reduce the size of the plot graph okay for more clarity this have number of options so i am click on that this is looking very good okay so for daily upon del v we have obtained green line so if we see in the green line we have obtained three peaks first one is on at second one is on 14 and last one is on 32 some negative peaks are also so first peak is on at so first is come for the iodide so this is at 3.5 volume of 0.01 and of agno3 and uh, the value of daily upon del v is 106 so this is iodide second one is on 14 so this is 14 so the value of volume of 0.01 n of agno3 is 6.5 and the daily upon del v value is 46 this is for bromide and last one is on 32 this is highest peak so this is 32 so the volume of 0.01 n of agno3 is 15.5 and the value of daily upon del v is 310 so let's calculation of all this reading so we are come on powerpoint <coughs> so the volume of agno3 equivalent to iodide present in the mixture x1 the value of volume of agno3 are present in the mixture is 3.5 ml because first peak of iodide is come on at this is and here 3.5 so x1 is equal to 3.5 ml the volume of agno3 equivalent to br in bromide present in the mixture so the second peak is come on 14 so 6.5 minus 
is equal to 3 ml. So this is x2 minus x1 is equal to 3 ml and the volume of AgNO3 equivalent to chloride present in the mixture. So the peak for the chloride is on come on 32. This is 15.5. When we are minus it with number 14, 6.5, then 9 ml, the volume of AgNO3 equivalent to the chloride present in the mixture. Now calculate it. So calculation of iodide present in the mixture. If we are calculate for 1000 ml 1 n of AgNO3, then it is equivalent to the 127 gram of iodide. But we have need of 3.5 ml of 0.01 n of AgNO3. It is equivalent to the 0.00445 gram of iodide. Now second bromide. Calculation of bromide present in the mixture. 1000 ml of 1 n of AgNO3 is equivalent to the 79.9 gram of bromide. So if we are calculate it for 3 ml because x2 is equal to 3 ml so 3 ml of 0.01 n of AgNO3 is equivalent to the 0.00239 gram of bromide and last the calculation of chloride present in the mixture so 1000 ml 1 n of AgNO3 is equivalent to the 35.5 gram of chloride so if we are calculate for 9 ml 0.01 n of AgNO3 then it is equivalent to the 0.003195 gram of chloride This is all the results iodide, bromide and chloride. This is galvanic cell. So thank you for watching the video. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe the channel. Thank you.